Robert Cow, you brought Joala over for the Hong Kong International Sprint, and um, she's a very interesting runner. Well, she is. Um, you know, she, she gets into the race quite nicely with the Phillies allowance as well. And, um, yeah, I'm quite excited about it. We're excited about being here and taking part in this, uh, this good event. Great win in Nunthorpe. It was. It was uh, it, it, although she was a long shot, it wasn't a surprise to us. Um, I mean, her form back as a three-year-old, she was second to sole power at Doncaster in the Scarborough Stakes. So um, she deserved to, to take a chance and she showed them how good she was. And a solid fourth in the Abbey and very unsuitable ground. She hit the front early and just got run down. She did. She, she sort of quickened away from them at, uh, at the furlong pole and half a furlong out. She was just uh, she was dead on her feet. Uh, she did, didn't handle the soft ground. But uh, yeah, to, on Sunday there's, we're going to get much faster ground. I think she'll like that. Looking at the sixth furlong here of Hong Kong, uh, is that a bit of a concern for you, the trip? Definitely. Um, that would be my only concern. Everything else seems fine. She'll t handle the bend fine, ground fine. It's just whether she uh, stays out the six furlongs, uh, but we'll give it a go. Tell us about her racing pattern. She's a jump and run sort of filly. She is. She'll hit the gates hard. Uh, she's up into cruising speed very quickly, and uh, tactically she's a very, very astute runner. Um, so uh, whatever the draw we get, and that's going to just... Uh, be fate but whatever the draw we get I think she'll get herself into a prominent position whatever. You've been a very successful trainer of sprinters for a long time now in Europe how do you how do you how does she stack up to some of your others? She's pretty high um, she'd be one of the one of the best ones I've ever had I think but uh, you know her her career will only be sort of fairly limited because uh, she's going to be retired un unfortunately but uh, that you know she's got paddocks beckoning for her and uh, quite rightly so uh, but she's yeah she's pretty decent. You've got Steve Drown on board. That'd be a great story for him if he could win this race. Yeah, I mean, I think it would. And again, for the breeders and for the jockey, for myself, I mean, it'll all be, be a massive story. You'll, you won't hear the end of it if we do win, put it that way. Best of luck on Sunday. Yeah, cheers. Thank you.